What's up guys, as of note there'll be some spoilers in the opening 20 seconds of this video or so, so now's the time to turn away if you don't want to hear them, but uh, because you clicked on the title you probably know. Today I'll be reviewing the laser rifle in Fallout 4 called the Wazer Wifle. I'll discuss the strengths, weaknesses, key perks, and mod options if you choose to regularly use this weapon. To get it you have to do four unmarked quests from Sean, the synth child that you take out from the institute at the end of the game. Uh, and as a side note, he'll go to whatever base of whatever faction you sided with. So he'll go to the castle if you sided with the Minutemen. They're super easy. Uh, they're things like, Hey Dad, can you bring me a hot plate? Hey Dad, can you bring me a microscope? Four of them later, you're done. So in terms of the base stats, it starts with around the base damage of 90, depending on what it dropped with. Uh, a fire rate of 50, a range of 203, and an accuracy rating of 76. It fires fusion cell rounds. Uh, it has a magazine size of unlimited and a weight of 5.5 pounds. The weapon's special perk, as you probably already figured out, is that it has an endless magazine. It's not endless rounds, it's an endless magazine. So if you have 360 f uh, fusion cells, it means you have a magazine size of 360. Uh, in terms of strengths, it's actually quite good against mobs and high health enemies because you never have to worry about reloading. You can just put out an endless stream of energy shots and most enemies flinch, so you can just keep shooting them until they die. You don't have to worry about reloading and breaking a continuous supply of DPS. This does not mean, of course, that you should be taking it against higher level enemies like Death Claws, because they're just going to run right through you. Uh, it's more against like super mutants and gunners and people of that variant. In terms of weaknesses, besides the Endless Magazine, which doesn't really come in handy all that often because... Reloading simply doesn't take that long, and you should, you should always have some cover around you in an FPS game anyway. It's basically a regular laser gun. Nothing really stands out or sticks out about it. There's better laser options like uh, uh, Righteous Authority. If you're looking to specifically buff this weapon through perk usage, use Gunslinger, Bloody Mess, uh, Sneak and Ninja, even though it's not the best because you can't equip a suppressor for Sneak. Critical Banker and Better Criticals, though of course that's not an exclusive list. Uh, in terms of mods, if you're looking to mod it up, you're going to need lots in Gun Nut and Science. Uh, and I would use Overcharge Capacitor, Improved Sniper Barrel, Recoil Compensating Stock, the Reflex Sight, and ideally the Quantum Gyro Compensating Lens. Overall, for an endgame weapon, it's just not that great. Uh, it's a, the perk that's supposed to make the weapon special doesn't really make it stand out in a definitive way so it ends up being average. But hey, close. At least Synth Sean is trying. Have a good one.